hey everyone welcome back to new series in this series we are going to create a simple blog app where you can see a list of blogs in the main screen and when you click any of this blog you are going to see the complete details of that particular blog uh, we are using clean architecture in this particular ap application and also model view model pattern dependency injection jetpack navigation and many more things so we are going to club all these things together and build this application so let's get started and see how we can do this so first of all we are going to set up our project all right so first thing you are going to create a brand new project so for that go to file new new project select empty compose activity click on next here you can put your name of that particular application and then click on the finish i can do this so i'm not going to do this again so after the creation of project you are going to see this screen you have a main activity and uh, a simple preview so the first thing we are going to do is set up our project or you can say create modules and dependency and put your put the dependency in our build.gradle module applicable file so let's do this so the first thing i am going to create modules so in clean architecture we have typically uh, three layers in the data layer domain layer and presentation layer so we are going to create one by one different module and then i am going to explain everything to you so for creating module go to file click on new here you can see new module go to new module and select android library and here you can give the library name so i am going to create first library which is responsible for the data so this is our first library it will take a few seconds to create this module all right here you can see we have a data module all right so our data module create successfully now second we are going to create a new module naming domain so let's wait for a few seconds and our module will create successfully here you can see domain all right i'm going to create one more module which is basically common for all these layers so the name of that uh, module will be common all right so here we have three different modules now the second thing we are going to create we are going to write the dependency which we need in this particular application so for that i am going to copy all the dependencies and put a uh, in the build.gradle module app level file build.gradle module common level file so this is our build.gradle for our common build.gradle for our data and build.gradle for our domain so i am going to copy the dependency from my project and paste on this particular build.gradle for all cases we are going to set up our build.gradle dependency so for that go to build.gradle dependency for our app level and here you need to add this plugin and the dependency so from here to the bottom so if you don't know how to get this dependency go to my github repository link is present in the description box all right copy all the dependency paste in your build.gradle app label build.gradle common label here you can see uh, the same dependency i paste here and uh, make sure to add this id all right similarly for our data and for our build.gradle build.gradle for our domain layer so dependency is same for all these modules all right now go to build.gradle project level and add this dependency now because this is a project level we have to add only one time so this is dependency for our dagger hilt uh, for our kotlin and build.gradle i think all right so now we successfully set up our project okay and after that we are going to create some packages in our data layer and domain layer so first we are going to create packages for our domain so right click uh, click open this so first we are going to create a packages for our domain layer so the first thing we are going to create is dependency injection so this is responsible for our di things 
and uh, next we are going to create one more package naming models and next we are going to create some use cases use cases and fourth we are going to create a repository tory all right so we successfully set up our uh, package in domain layer now it's time for our data layer so for data layer we are going to create package naming network and within this network we are going to create package model and after that we are going to create utils and after that we are going to create a uh, model utils and di all right and within this data layer we need mapper so this mapper is actually map the data layer object to our domain layer and uh, yes everything is done except one which is repository so we typically implement the repository interface which is present in the domain layer so this package is responsible for that thing all right so we successfully create our packages right now and in the next video we are going to start with our main coding part